we're given a linear equation in point-slope form and asked to write the equation in slope-intercept form. For a quick review, the point-slope form of a line is the form y minus y sub one equals m times the quantity x minus x sub one, where m is the slope of the line and one point on the line is given by the ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one. So looking at the given equation, notice how we know the slope of the line is negative two-sevenths and because x sub one equals five and y sub one equals one, we know one point on the line is given by the ordered pair five comma one. And we're asked to write this equation in slope intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, and therefore we'll have to solve this equation for y. Notice in the slope intercept form, m is the slope and b is the vertical intercept. So beginning with the given equation, Solve for y and write the equation in slope-intercept form, we'll first clear the parentheses by distributing negative two-sevenths. And because the slope is a fraction, let's write five as a fraction with the denominator of one. So this will give us y minus one equals negative two-sevenths times x is negative two-sevenths x. And then we have negative two-sevenths times negative five over one, which will be positive or plus Two times five is ten, seven times one is seven. So negative two-sevenths times negative five over one gives us positive ten-sevenths. And then finally to solve for y, we need to undo the subtraction by adding one to both sides of the equation. So we'd have y minus one plus one equals negative two-sevenths x plus ten-sevenths, and then plus one, let's write one as a fraction as one over one. So simplifying, negative one plus one is zero, so we have y equals negative two-sevenths x plus ten-sevenths plus one over one. We know to add fractions, we need a common denominator. To add these two fractions, the least common denominator would be seven, and therefore we'll multiply the numerator denominator of one over one by seven. Notice how this shows us that one is equal to seven sevenths. So in slope intercept form, the equation is y equals negative two sevenths x, and then ten sevenths plus seven sevenths is seventeen sevenths. So it doesn't ask, but notice how in this form, we can identify the slope as negative two sevenths, which we already knew. But now we also know that the vertical intercept B is equal to 17 sevenths, which as an ordered pair would be the point zero comma 17 sevenths. But again, this question is only asking us for the equation in slope intercept form, which is this form here. And notice how when entering the answer, the Y equals is already here, so we only enter the right side of the equation. I hope you found this helpful.